Welcome to this week's Joe Cooks. I hope everyone's had a nice week in that. Last week we had a bit of fun making some scones and that. Lovely sweet treat. If you haven't seen that video, go and have a look. Cracker. Dead easy, dead easy. But this week I thought we'd get back to basics and we'll make a hearty dinner. We're going to have a go at making a chicken and mushroom pasta bake. I've got all the ingredients laid out in front of us. There's two ways you can go with pasta bakes, I feel. You can either go the creamy route or you can go the tomato route. This week, it's the tomato route. We'll do the creamy one in the future, but we'll have a quick run through the ingredients and we'll get cracking. Right, for this one, really simple, really simple. I'm going to be using 200 grams of frozen chicken breast. I'm using cooked chicken breast this week because um, the way the prices are going in the supermarket, cooked chicken breast is actually cheaper than raw chicken breast. It doesn't make no sense, but it cuts down the prep time for me, so it's perfect, it's perfect. So 200 grams of diced chicken breast. 200 grams of sliced mushrooms, 200 grams of grated reduced fat cheddar cheese. I'm going to put the lid back on this one and I'm going to put it in the fridge until I need it. I'm persevering with this handheld thing until I get it right because I think it's the best way of showing you the ingredients. If it's bad, tell us in the comments and I'll, I'll go back to the static camera. But we're going to be using 200 grams of cooked pasta. This one I cooked for about 8 minutes. It said 10 minutes on the packet, but I'll reduce it a little bit because it's going to go in the oven later. Only cheap pasta, like the 35 pence a bag stuff. 200 grams of sliced peppers. I'm using frozen peppers. Just because it's a sauce, I don't need to keep the, the peppers crispy on out. And I find it hard to store fresh peppers. And really, they're, they're quite expensive at the minute, to be honest with you. 200 grams of sliced onions. This is three medium to small ones. 20 grams of chopped garlic. About 350 mils of water with a chicken stock cube in. It's only just the basic chicken stock cubes from, from my Aldi's or whatever, Littles, wherever you can get them. A squirt of Worcestershire sauce. A tin of chopped tomatoes. If you see anything in my videos with these uh, yellow labels on, they all come from the nice people at the food bank. Absolute stars, absolute stars. I'll mention them every week if I have to because I think the, the heroes, the heroes do a good, very good job, very good service. A handful of mixed herbs, salt and pepper, and some fry light. And what I'm going to do, while we're talking about the fry light, I'm going to put my pan on and I'm going to spray it and I'm just going to warm my pan up. So we'll just stick a few sprays of this in here. I'll get set up over the pan and we'll get cracking. Right, we're all set up now. I've got here the pan nice and hot. You can see it's just starting to smoke a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with my onions. Really simple this one, you know. You can do this one well in advance. Well in advance. Well, I'm going to put them in and I'm going to put a little bit of a splash of cold water in. And I'm going to get the lid on for the steam a bit. It'll It'll speed the, it'll, that was a bit, of, a bit of a rush. It'll speed the cooking time up and it'll reduce the amount of oil we need to cook onions. But we'll fry them for a minute, then we'll um, go in with the garlic and stuff. For this one, when we come to cook it in the oven, we'll be cooking it at 180 for about 20-25 minutes. And you're going to need a dish, an oven dish. I should have showed it before, but there we go. But well, um, yeah, you're going to need one of them. Really easy. Like I say, you can do this in a, you can do this in advance. But well, um, that's had a minute now, so I'm going to go in with a, with a garlic. We're still a little bit steamy here because uh, winter's still playing itself out. I have put the heating on in the kitchen to try and quell the steam down, but it doesn't seem to be happening. But it's alright. It'll settle itself down. It'll settle itself down. So we'll give that another minute. Tell us in the comments about the food prices in your countries or wherever you are around, around, around the UK because um, they're going absolutely nuts around here. Absolutely nuts. People are properly struggling and I think uh, it's time for the governments to intervene properly like, because it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. But anyway, back to keeping it positive. All it is now is just a case of piling stuff in. We're going to go in with more mushrooms and that. 
Looks a lot, but they'll cook down. They'll cook down. Give them a stir. We'll get water coming off the mushrooms and we'll get water coming off the frozen peppers. But we will be adding a little bit more water a bit later on. And the joys with this one, we're using cooked chicken. You don't have to fry the chicken off and out. You just put it in. So we're we'll going more peppers. Looks lush that, doesn't it? Proper colourful in that. Proper colourful. I could eat that. Just fried up like that, you know. Lush, man. Lush. Yeah, tell us what you um, what you put in your pasta bakes and that. Everyone's got one. If you ask a thousand people what they put in a pasta bake, you get a thousand answers. But we're going to go in with a bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to get the lid on and I'm going to cook it for about five minutes. Just to let everything start softening up properly and warm through a bit. Right, we've had about five minutes now. The steam sort of calming down a bit. But it's good. We'll, we'll manage, we'll manage. Right, I'm going to go in with a tin of tomatoes from the lovely people at the food bank. We're going to go in with a good splash of Worcester sauce. We're going to go in with a chicken stock in the water. And a small handful of mixed herbs. We're just going to give this a good mix up. That'll do us. It's beauty, this one, you know, beautiful. I'm going to have mine with a bit of green cabbage or something later and that. My mate's coming round, so he can have some and that. And um, yeah, it's perfect, man, perfect. Probably last me a couple of days. We'll let this warm up again. A couple of minutes. Then we'll put our chicken in. We'll put our pasta in. We'll give it a good mix up. And we'll get it in the oven. Right, this is hot again now. It's had about five minutes and that. It's perfect. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my heat down to about number one. I'll just have it ticking over. And I'm going to put the chicken in. And give that a good stir. It looks a little bit watery, but it's fine. Once we put the pasta in, the pasta will soak up all this water. And it's perfect. It's perfect. And we're going to go over our pasta. Just going to put a bit in at a time and stir it in. It's a bit stuck together because uh, this colander is a little bit small for what I need. But it's fine, it's fine. I don't know if you can notice me here. Uh, oh, I've knocked my thing. My little weight plate there. That's YouTube on a budget, mate. You've got to um, be inventive, be inventive. Because if I, if, I if I took that off, the camera would wobble, wobble all the time. So it's left on, it's left on. But we're going to go in with a bit more pasta. If it looks like you've got too much of something, just don't put as much in. I'm going to put it all in, to be honest. Because I, I like pasta, like. It just bulks. It's an easy bulk. It's an easy bulk for a meal. It's a good carbohydrate and that. I'm actually trying to train for a half marathon at the minute, so these type of meals are absolutely perfect for, for that type of training and that. So, uh, right. I'm just going to let this tick over on number one. Let the pasta soak up some of this sauce sticking itself up in that. I'll clean my bench down. I'll bring the bowl in. And we'll sort it out. If you're going to cook it now, instead of later, you're best off preheating the oven. I've got mine on now. I'm going to preheat it at 180. And it'll go in for about 20, 25 minutes. Until the cheese is properly melted in that. Right, I've had a nice clean down in that. I'm going to bring my bowl in. We're just going to transfer the pan into the bowl, simple as that. Hopefully, it all fits. But look at that, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. We'll have a little scrape out, make sure we don't leave any in the pan and that. Pan's lovely and clean. We're just going to spread it out. What I'd say now, if you're going to cook it straight away, it's fine. We'll carry on because we're going to cook it straight away. But if you're going to leave it and cook it later, I'd hold off on the cheese until you put it in the oven. It just makes it a lot a lot nicer when it comes out the oven. So generous portions of cheese. I know it looks like a lot. It is a lot actually. But uh, it's reduced fat so it's alright. So we'll just sprinkle this over. Good generous helping. Look at that man. Look at that. Fantastic. 
feed your family, feed yourself, whatever, perfect, full of vegetables, I'm running out of cheese a little bit here, we'll, we'll, we'll get that on, there we go, there we go, spread it out a little bit, could have possibly done with a bit more cheese, but that's fine, that's fine, right, I'm going to whack this in the oven, 25 minutes, till the cheese is melted, and it's nice, right, it's been about 25 minutes, let's see what we've made, look at that, Absolutely fantastic. Cheese is starting to brown and that's lush. It's lush. This, this reduced fat cheese takes a lot more. I don't know if it's heat or time to brown, but it doesn't brown up as good as the full fat cheese, but it's it's done well. It's done well. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to bring a plate in. We'll plate it up and we'll say we're goodbyes. Right? I'd just like to thank you all for watching. And to say, if there's anything you want us to cook, I'll have a go at, put it in the comments and that, I'll have a go, I'll have a go. But look at that, look at that, fantastic. Got a little bit of shredded cabbage in that. I managed to get a big plate with a white nun from a charity shop, just like the little one. So that's like the YouTube plate now. So it gets washed and it gets put away for a week. But we're just going to crack this open. Look at that, man. Look at that. It's hot, it's hot. But how nice does that look? How nice does that look? Absolutely fantastic, full of goodness, full of, full of joy, we'll get that out of the way. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for putting up with us while I learned to do this video of malarkey and that. I hope I've inspired you to get in the kitchen and cook a little bit. But until next week, like I said, stay safe, be kind, and um, have a nice week. See you then.